just burnt my thumb lighting that candle there in the back and I don't think anyone's really gonna care that I lit a candle so I don't know if it was worth it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Caitlin, for those of you who are new here, thank you for joining me. Today I've got a pretty exciting video. We are doing a Mecca Land haul. Before we jump into what Mecca Land is and everything I picked up there, I just wanted to say first of all, thank you for 3,000 subscribers. It happened quite recently and I'm over the moon excited. It's always just a great feeling hitting another milestone and I appreciate all of you that subscribe but if you haven't you can do that by hitting the subscribe button down below and adding on to that number that would be really great but yeah I just wanted to say thank you for that and one other quick thing to note is I am trying out a new camera today so if things are a little bit off I'm really sorry I'm still getting used to it so just let me know any feedback and all that down below that would be really appreciated and I'm sorry if I look up a little bit because the viewfinder is now above I'm using the G7X which is a common vlogging camera for anyone who's curious so I'm trying not to look up in the viewfinder a bit but we'll see how I go anyway that's enough rambling let's just jump into all the Mecca Land goodies so for those of you who don't know in Australia we have a chain of makeup stores called Mecca, Mecca Maxima and Mecca Cosmetica are the two different ones that they have and they sell a lot of brands that you get like Sephora or Ulta or whatever overseas. I think you can get these brands at Ulta. I really don't know anything about Ulta so I don't know why I said that. But they have like Hourglass, Too Faced, Urban Decay, NARS, a lot of those brands. Our brands are kind of split up. Some of them are only at Mecca and then you'll get some only at Sephora like Kat Von D, Makeup Forever, Tarte. So it's kind of split up into two. And what Mecca Land is, is a beauty festival that went over three days here in Melbourne the past weekend, which I went to on the Friday. I considered vlogging it and I didn't, so I'm really sorry if you wanted to see that. I'm sure there are many amazing Mecca Land vlogs on YouTube though. I just felt a bit awkward. I didn't actually get any footage, even just like Snapchat or anything. I was just kind of amazed by it all. It was so much better than I expected. So I should probably explain what it actually is, but like I just said, I have no real footage to show you unfortunately because I'm a big idiot basically I'm sure a lot of you already know that so what it basically is is sort of like a comic-con supernova thing where there's a whole bunch of booths or stalls where you can buy things each brand at Mecca well not every single brand but quite a lot of them had their own little stalls where you could get free samples and I'd often have things like a little photo section or a boomerang station or something and buy products and then they also had meet and greets with YouTubers. Over the whole event, there was Shanik So, Heidi Makeup Artist, uh, Sammy Robinson, Bella Fiore, and Shani Grimmins. So in my time that I went, there was Shani and Bella, who I met, which I'll put a photo of on the screen with me and my big cheesy grin. So they also had a main stage where they did like a Q&A with the YouTubers and then some makeup artists and people who work for the makeup brands and that sort of thing, as well as masterclasses on stage. And they even had a competition at the end where they pulled three girls who entered by doing a festival look and they got them on stage to do a makeup challenge in 20 minutes and then they got to win a thousand dollar mecca card like i need to get good at makeup in the next year so i can enter that next year because there is no way some of those looks were really fantastic so it's a pretty cool experience overall heaps of free goodies which i will show you limited edition stuff there was even some items made exclusively for mecca land that aren't going to be coming to stores a lot of the stuff will be coming, I think they were saying May, June, July. So of course I had to go and pick up some stuff. So when you arrive at Mecca Land, they give you this big tote bag, which was not this full when I got it. And I uh, kept this bag in here, but I already ripped into it. Because when you purchase everything, they pop it in one of these little Mecca bags here. I said bags, really weird. <laughs> but when you purchase everything, they pop it in one of these Mecca bags and seal it up and then it's separate from your samples and all of that but as you can see we got some stuff here to get through so i'm going to start off with everything that i purchased and then we will get into the free samples which is very exciting so i went with my friend carla who is really talented at makeup and she went to enter the makeup competition and right next to that sign up place was the stealer booth so that was the first place we checked out we planned on going around and order and we were too excited and that did not happen so we'll start with stealer i only got one thing from there. there was some other stuff that looked really good but I didn't want to go too broke because that would be quite easy to a Mecca Land. So the only thing I got from Stila is a Mecca Land exclusive. This is not limited edition. Well I suppose it is because it's there's only so many, but it's only at Mecca Land. This, from what I was told, will not be coming to Mecca stores or anywhere else at all. So what I got was the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. 
in the shade Beauty Junkie, which is what they were calling everyone at Mechaland Beauty Junkies. So it really is a Mecha exclusive. So I still have everything in their boxes. I've been hanging out to pull everything out and try it all. I haven't actually tried any of this. Only these swatches available there. So I've just got a nice gold box with a little pink part here, which is the shade. So let's take this bad boy out. This is it here. I love the packaging of these. Some of you might remember I actually got one of these for Christmas in my What I Got For Christmas haul. I showed it off the bronze bell shade but it's still essentially the same thing a liquid sort of eyeshadow with a little doe fruit applicator doe foot i don't know that kind of a lip gloss liquid lipstick style applicator i'm not sure of all the exact names but i absolutely love these this is a gorgeous gorgeous pink glittery shade with gold reflex in it so one thing i will say about megaland is the lighting was really terrible especially as it started to get dark outside it was so hard to see swatches properly i don't know how the people who went late at night were able to see anything properly and it looked fuchsia i can see myself getting a lot of use out of this now that i can see it in its nice really rosy pink and gold glory that's a really weird way of saying that but it is so nice and i absolutely love these there were plenty more shades there i wanted to buy but they are going to come out to stores eventually so i thought i'll just get the one that i can't get ever again i'll get that one and leave the rest for another time so this was 35 dollars and for those of you interested it has 0.153 fluid ounces 4.5 milliliters of product and i am pretty happy what is next we'll go to some mecca max stuff that is the in-store brand of mecca so what i bought was a hollow jelly face gloss in the shade milky way so let me open this one up and i love the boxes of these actually it's all holographic and really pretty can you see that there that's actually really nice packaging and it matches the product inside so it comes in this little pot so it's a jelly texture liquid highlight i mean you could probably even pop it on your lips for a bit of high shine gloss if you wanted to so let me open it up like i said i got the shade milky way did i say that still got the seal on it i really haven't touched anything oh my god there's so much product on the seal that's sad but i don't know if you can see that in there it kind of just looks white on the screen so this is essentially what it says a face gloss you can tap it with your fingers or a sponge maybe haven't tried it yet so i can't confirm it's something to mind everywhere it's that liquidy let me hold it back up right and it's just white sparkly with a blue purple sort of iridescent hue to it but it is so pretty i will probably buy the other shade which is more of a champagne rose goldy sort of mix like i said the lighting was hard to tell on there so I will probably buy it when it comes to the stores and this one was $22. Let me see if I can find the other thing from Mecca Max in here. Okay, here it is. A gloss because I have two Mecca glosses that I love. This one's slightly different. It's a galactic gloss. So I'm very, very excited to try it. I got the shade Out of Orbit, which is sort of a rose gold pink shade with a bit of blue through it, which is really interesting. I think it would look really pretty on the lips. Again, still got the seal on it, which I hate because makeup seals are evil and take me forever to get off. Oh, that wasn't bad. So here it is out of its packaging. I don't know if you can see too well in the tube. It's sort of twisted around. It reminds me of a unicorn, it's like horn, that sort of twisty shape. Or like when you go on a merry-go-round and the poles have that twisty sort of shape. That's a really bad description. <laughs> but I will open this guy up. Let's give this uh, autofocus feature I now have a go. Do you want to go in front of my... Ooh! Now you can see that shape I was talking about and that blue hue to it. And the applicator. That's exciting. Lots of exciting things today. Camera features, makeup. We're having a great time. But this is just a gorgeous shade. I love my glosses. And the gloss was $20. I don't know why I went on about. We went to steal it first because I'm not going in order anymore. I'm just going to grab the biggest item in the bag, which is the Mario Badescu facial spray. This is a new one. It's purple. So it's facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. So the mini one is $9. And from memory, the bigger bottle about yay big. I can't remember exactly how much is in it. That one was 17 and this has four fluid ounces or 118 ml of product. So at the Mario stall, we were being told that this is really good for redness, which is great because redness is something that I get a fair bit of. 
So very, very keen to give this a go. And also lavender is good for aromatherapy to help you relax and unwind and with sleep and all that. I haven't even sprayed this one yet, so let's do that. But we all know that the spray bottle gets a bit stuck, so I'm not gonna spray this directly on my face until we get a few spritzes out. That is so refreshing. That actually smells so nice. Besides the Estilla item, this is the only other product that I saw online prior to going to Mecca. So I was like, yes, have to, have to, have to get this one. And I'm very, very happy that I did. So I also got something from NARS, which was this little liquid lipstick set. So it comes with two liquid lipsticks inside. This is the warm nude set. So the packaging for these is actually gorgeous. I love how the NARS liquid lipsticks look. So these are the two I got. Technically it's called the Narcissus Wanted Power Pack Lip Kit. There was Warm Nudes, which is what I have here, Cool Nudes and Reds, which I think were called Hot Reds, possibly. And they were $32, yes, $32 with each mini lipstick having 0.09 floor ounces or 2.8 mil of product. So the two shades that I got were Get It On, this one here, and Hot Blooded. And one of the shades is a new shade, I think a limited edition shade, that is what the store person told me. But it is the shade Hot Blooded here, which I'll open up, that is the new shade, which is a really pretty sort of a terracotta rose color. And I love the applicators on these. Are we going to do that focusing? Yes. So you can see the color there as well. And let me move my fingers with my terrible nails. So you can see in the tube. They look like they'd be really precise. So I'm excited to try these out. Oh, no, I got it on the tube. Why do I care? It's going to get messy in like an hour. And then I will just show you the Get It On shade, which is a bit more of a brown tan nude. Still with a hint of a rosy pinkness in it. That is the worst description of colour ever. I'll just bring up both applicators actually so you can compare the colours. So there are the two colours next to each other there. This one that I'm pointing out with my ring finger is Get It On and Hot Blooded here with my index finger. Hot Blooded was the colour that kind of drew me to getting the set because I don't have anything really like it. <gasps> Ooh, guess what idiot held the tube of the new, possibly limited edition color upside down while I was talking then. Oh my God, look at my finger right now. I've made a big mess. There's liquid lipstick on my jeans, on my socks. I have pink and brown all over my jeans. Oh my God. Can you guys see that? Right on my black jeans. Oh my God. That's fantastic. If anyone knows how to get liquid lipstick out of jeans, please comment down below because I am in desperate need of some help. On that note, I think we'll move on from the liquid lipsticks because I don't really want to look at them right now. That's actually quite upsetting. <laughs> so let's just talk about something else. There's one more item that I bought, which was from Hourglass. I love Hourglass powders. I feel like I said the same thing in my Christmas haul where I got a bronzer. And what I got now is a blush. So I have a highlighter, a blush, a bronzer, and a setting powder from Hourglass now. So I am very, very happy. I just got the mini one. I don't actually know if they had the full size ones on sale, but I am fine with getting the mini one for now, which are $35. And will you tell me how much product is in you? 0 0.4 um, Oz or 1.3 grams of product in this little mini. I don't know if it's more cost efficient or not. Probably not. But I was just excited and it's so cute. There we go. Look how little it is. Anyway, let's talk about the actual product inside, which is a ambient lighting blush in luminous blush. So it's a really pretty shade. Again, with all hourglass, you really swirl it around to get a mix because it's kind of this marbled effect with two colors. It's sort of a beautiful light champagne rose color. I was really, really wrapped with it and I kind of want more hourglass blushes, even though I haven't even used this one yet. It just looks so nice. But just stick with one for now and I am very, very excited to put this, I was gonna say all over my face, but that would be scary all over my cheeks for a nice flushed looking face. I feel like I start to say a sentence a lot and then I just don't know how I'm gonna end it and it ends really weird. But anyway, we'll move on from this blush, which did I say it was $35? Because it was $35 for this little guy. So that is everything that I actually bought, but there's still so much more to get into, all the free goodies. 
felt spoiled honestly I have so many things to try some stalls would have things like if you took a photo in our ball pit which is like what Mecca Max had you would get something if you let them test product on you or if you were going to buy something they'll give you a free sample it kind of depended on each brand with my Obedescu they had a bunch of little skincare items that you could try out and I thought I would try the toner which is technically called the cucumber cleansing lotion I'm just excited to put this cleaning stuff on my face because I really like Mario Badescu products honestly who doesn't though but very happy to have this to try Stila gave little liquid eyeliners I actually have this one I'm on my third I think second or third of these so it's nice to have a little mini one and it came in this little cardboard box which is kind of a waste of packaging IMO but it's in there like that so it is the Estee All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner, which I definitely am a fan of. It's a little pen felt tip sort of a thing. I find I don't really need to touch this eyeliner up, but I think it would be handy to throw in my bag just in case because it's a perfect little size. But it is the shade Intense Black and it has 0.008 fluid ounces and 0.25 mil of product. So that is that one and I'm very, very glad because it is a great eyeliner. Would recommend it. Another product that I got in probably way too much cardboard is a Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. It came in this whole ordeal. So when you open it up, it's just got like information about the product and a whole bunch of the shades, including the one I have, which is a big fang. I don't know how much I'm gonna wear this, but it was free, so that's fine by me. Come out, please. There we go. So to me, a little liquid lipstick. Now this is a fuchsia sort of bright bold in your face pink and it's glittery i haven't tried any of evan decay's liquid lipsticks so this will be good to give it a go oh that had a big chunk on there can you see that i don't know well another one of those flat little applicators in cute little mini size but i mean it's a good way for me to try a new color step outside of my comfort zone and just overall see what the product is like from the glam glow stall which honestly i only really went to because they had a ring light set up so you could take photos they gave out some little masks they had like a big wheel that you spun and then she just gave you masks i don't think it really mattered what the wheel landed on but i got given the dream duo overnight transforming treatment oh it's they go together it's a step one and a step two so you put it on overnight and then you should be all wonderful and fresh in the morning. And I've heard a lot of good things about Glam Glow Mask, so I'm keen to see how it goes. Speaking of skincare, Dermalogica gave out big water bottles, which I actually opened like last night and they smelled disgusting. This needs a good clean or seven before I even think about using it. But it's kind of a weird little shape. And I mean, at least if you took it somewhere, everyone would know it's yours because it ain't too common. Another skincare thing, we went to Kate Tuberville and they were giving out their Wrinkle Warrior Pink Plumping Mask, which is just in this little tube here. I've never tried anything from Kate Tuberville. Sorry if things moved, the battery died, but as I was saying, Carla, who I said earlier that I went with, really likes the Kate Tuberville product, so it makes me excited to try out that mask. So I have one more product before I get into the Beauty Loop box. And that is the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask for, for problem skin. To rescue problem skin, if we're going to be precise here. So it just looks like this. I've never actually tried anything Origins and I've heard a lot of good things about them. So I'm keen to also try this one out. I have so many masks, I don't even know where to begin. And uh, moving on to the Beauty Loop box, which was all themed up with the same Mecca Land theme. It's even got a hashtag Mecca Land on the back and Beauty Junkie and all that. So if you sign up with Mecca, I think it's, I think once a quarter, I don't remember, but you do get a Beauty Loop box every now and then. It tends to have like two to four mini products in it. This had a lot more, which I've already opened up. So I will get into those in a second, but this is just the box for those of you which are curious. So let's actually get into what this contained. So first of all, it did have that origin mask that I just mentioned. It had another one of those. So at least if I like it, I do have a second one to use up. But we already spoke about that, so we'll move on. Also had from Dermalogica a daily micro foliant. And I haven't tried any Dermalogica. I haven't actually tried a lot of higher end, uh, more expensive skincare brands in general. So keen to give this one a go because Dermalogica is a talk about brand. 
We have another mask here from Ren Clean Skincare, which I feel like I've heard the name Ren before, but I don't really know much about. So this is the Glycolactic, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, Radiance Renewal Mask. I don't really know what to say about all these masks, to be honest, because I just am so overwhelmed with all the options I have here. But this is another one to add to my collection to try. Do we have more? one more skincare item, I believe? Yes. The last skincare item is actually not a mask, it is a facial oil, the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. So I haven't tried too many oils. I have one from The Ordinary that I like, so I can expand my horizons a little bit, try a new one. Also haven't tried any Drunk Elephant, so this will probably go into my routine for a bit and see how I go with it. Even though we're out of skincare, we have a few more things in the, the beauty loop box to go through. One of them being a favorite of mine, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So I have used this before. Again, it was in my Christmas haul and I had used it prior to that. So it's nice to have a nice little mini one. Puts me off rebuying another one for just a little bit longer. So this is a great primer. Next up, keeping on the theme of prepping the skin, I have a little mini MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. Prep and Prime Fix Plus. You know what it is, I'm sure I've all heard of this. I actually have another mini of one of these sitting in my drawer at the moment. So I'm going to be set for quite a while, which is great because I do really like the Fix Plus. Honestly, who doesn't though? So then I have a mascara from YSL. This is the Final Couture one and it's just black, I believe. I love trying out little mini mascaras because I always just buy my mascaras from Priceline. I tend to not really find it worth splurging on mascaras. But this could be different, who knows? But that's one reason I love minis, because I can always maybe find that one that's going to make me splurge. Then we have a little NARS multiple. This is, what shade are you? Copacabana? I really wanted to get some of these multi-sticks, because I like the idea that you can swoop something on your lips and then on your cheeks and all of that, over the lids if you want. Come out, please. Okay. Ooh, so much packaging. I love how these look. Again, I just love NARS packaging. This is definitely one that's going to get dirty. So it's this very champagne light gold shade. So I don't think I'll be using it as a blush, but as a highlighter. I think I'll have to play around with this one, but it will definitely make a really nice highlighter. And the last product we got, which looks like it could be full size, is a Mecca Max Liquid Lipstick. The A Lipster <laughs> Liquid Lipstick. Clever little name in hot to trot. Oh, this is a bold one. Okay, but I'm really not into this packaging because the only way you have to tell or what it is is this smack bang here on the lid. Other than that, it's all black. I like to be able to see the color through the tube or at least have it on both ends, you know? That is a real pinky red color. Ready pink color? I don't know, I really like this color though. Pinky red, very nice. Again, that flat sort of applicator. And I do, like I said a billion times, like my Mecha Max products, so I am keen to give this a go. Just not big on the actual packaging because you can't really tell what the color is. So that's everything, unless you want to count the little food goodies we got. There was a cookie in the Beauty Loop box, which is vanilla, and I'll probably eat it as soon as I'm finished filming. And they're also handing out some lollipops, which is really nice. They've got little roses on them. Fancy lollipops. But otherwise, that is pretty much it. My bag's not even empty, hold up. So you got some information flyers, and my wristband, and a single piece of confetti. And now, now the bag is empty. We have gone through everything. Overall, I really enjoyed Mecca Land. They split it up into three hour sessions. So I went to the Friday at 4 p.m. session. It was really good because it wasn't really crowded at all. Lining up for the meet and greet didn't take very long. It was a very quick hug, hello, and then take your photo and go. But I mean, that's all right, which isn't that bad considering that you didn't have to pay extra for the meet and greet. It was included in the ticket price along with all the free samples, seeing the master classes and just getting to test products and get access to limited edition things and all of that. So I think it was well worth the money. 110% I would go next year. I did end up getting there half an hour late. Carla and I missed the train, got on the wrong train and I had to get an Uber and it was this whole ordeal. But even still, I felt like three hours was enough time. I didn't really go to any of the hair booths because I'm rubbish at doing my hair and I wouldn't want to know what to do with half of the products. Sorry about my dogs. <laughs> 
maybe in hindsight I should have and they could have taught me how to use some of those products and all of that but that's alright I still felt like three hours was enough time unless you wanted to go and watch everything on the stage which we weren't too fussed about then you might have a bit of trouble getting around to everything but if you weren't fussed about seeing everything they had on stage all the time then I think you would have enough time to get around and have a look at everything but yeah definitely definitely would go again had a great time and yeah I think that's about everything I had to say I hope you enjoyed this little haul and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and if you want to see more of me make sure you subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload and I hope you all have a great day or night or whatever it is for you and I will see you in my next video bye guys